homosexual activists are all about approval. They want approval for their lifestyle. They want to be told it's okay, it's good, it's normal, it's just like everything else. But it's not. It's a sin. It can be changed. It can be overcome with the help of God. Many people have left the lifestyle. But unfortunately, in their demands for approval now, the homosexual activists are using the state and they're using government power. And so the traditional role, the Christian role of the state, which is to actually dissuade sin, to, to discourage people from embracing sin, has now been flipped on its head, and the state is being used to encourage and celebrate sin. It's quite an amazing development in the United States. This was the sin that dare not speak its name several decades ago. That's what it was. Think about where we've come. Now they want to attach the sin of Sodom to marriage, a, a, a behavior which Dr. John Diggs, an African-American uh, who, who can't change his skin color, by the way. African-Americans will always be African-Americans. Homosexuals can change and leave that lifestyle, as so many have. But John Diggs said that sodomy was almost, it's almost as if homosexual sodomy was created to spread disease. That's how dangerous and unnatural this lifestyle is. And yet we are being told that it can now be attached to the noble institution of marriage. When a nation does that, when a nation embraces such confusion and such evil, it is on a moral decline. And the only way to write it, I think, is through revival. We need a Christian revival in this country so that we begin to embrace common sense and God's uh, righteousness again rather than the sin movement.